So let's talk a little bit about systems and processes. Mm -hmm. uh, what things have you developed you know, through your years of experience that really help your management company run smoothly? One of them that jumps out to me is we use a service called Show Mojo, and it's basically uh, you, you upload your listing information when you're going to market your rentals, and it, you can create time slots that are available for the property to be seen, and the prospective tenants can schedule online. And then it brings them through a preliminary questionnaire. So it talks about, you know, what's your credit, what's your income, uh, your criminal background, things like that. And it does a pre-qualification. So if they don't meet the criteria, it won't even allow them to schedule a showing. So it saves time for my leasing agents, which makes them happy and makes their uh, basically their hourly rate, if you will, increase as a result. Um, it sets the expectations again with the prospective tenants that here's here's what you need to do to qualify. Um and then since it's all done digitally, there's less human error. So once they schedule the showing, it gets sent to the leasing agent and gets put onto their calendar. And then if somebody else wants to see it, it will stack the showings either before or after the other one so that there's an efficiency there. So prior to that, we actually had a person on staff just taking phone calls and setting appointments and all that kind of stuff. So I replaced uh, basically a, a human salaried job with a, a piece of software and it actually does a much better job for a much lower cost and everybody's seems to be happier with it because most people they're looking for these properties either on their phone or their computer and if you can just immediately schedule right online versus having to call in and and all that kind of stuff the prospective tenants love it so that's that's one piece um i would say technology in general has been very instrumental so the property management software that we use, for example, allows tenants to pay their rent online, allows them to submit maintenance requests online. They can take pictures of the issue and send it in. The communication between the vendor and the tenant for scheduling the maintenance is done through that portal. Um, the property owner gets to see the copies of the lease, the, the ledger, the maintenance requests. So I'd say tech is probably number one. Yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, way back when I started in real estate, I was a leasing agent, and I can remember, you know, all the many phone calls of trying to vet people over the phone, make sure they're qualified to even show up at the property, and then scheduling them. And yeah, it's quite the process. How nice is it if if all that was done for you, and you just had to show up at a prescribed time that appeared in your calendar? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> and it takes, and it also confirms the appointments too. So okay, you know. So I'm trying to do right by my leasing agents, too, because that's obviously a position that has notoriously high turnover in most property management companies, because yeah. it is it is kind of grueling work. You're you're going from Plymouth to, you know, YZ to Stillwater or whatever in, in a day. This thing is so smart that it'll provide clusters of showings in just certain parts of town. So you can have all your north metro or your south metro showings all in one day, and it creates just a ton of efficiencies. Nice. So what property management software have you landed on? There's so many out there. We work with Appfolio. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty happy with it. Um, we had been on Buildium before that. Um, it had it, it was a very visually appealing uh, platform, but it lacked some of the back-end functionality. Appfolio still doesn't do a great job of providing accounting for the properties that I own. I found that there's really um, not a lot of great software out there that does third-party customer-facing property management as well as, you know, owned property management. Okay. So we actually still have to use QuickBooks to do the accounting on, a, on our properties that we own. Okay, yep. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value.